Hi guys, uh, so this is Jonathan or Epic Fail. Um, the video I'm doing right now is uh, kind of a continuation of the negative space transitions that Keith Marshall uh, has been working on. Um, I got this idea from Keith when at Fire Drums this past weekend when he said you can do any move in negative space. So one of my favorite moves is the toroid. And what a toroid is, is if you took a figure eight and put it sideways, so as if it was coming out of your body here, and then put a figure eight as if it was going on, your t uh, on a table, and you put them together, that's a toroid. Um, I will try and show people the shape if by adding it in at the end of the video, um, but we'll go from there. So to show you what a toroid looks like from different points of view, you have here, imagine you have a middle point that you're aiming to hit here, 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 uh, other direction, here, and then it drops down and comes back up into here. So that's a toroid uh, in normal space. To show you how it looks with two boy. And in the front plane, goes up here, 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 here. And I apologize for how sloppy it looks, uh, but that's just the general look of it. So, toroids in negative space. There's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm just going to go through and show one for the sake of time. Uh, so you have your negative space, which is the space created by your body attaching to the boy, attaching back to your body. Um, and then what I figured out was when you start with the first initial loop, that goes up into the negative space, to kind of exaggerate right there, then it goes up and around, then what you're going to do is on that top side push, it's going to come back underneath and then spin out and then come back down. And that's the uh, toroid in negative space. You can do it on both sides, and in a future video I'm going to show you the transitions uh, to get from one toroid in negative space transitioned over to the other side. Uh, the only reason I'm not attaching it right now is to kind of show you guys the first video. So from the side, you have starting from the bottom to the center, left, top to the center, right, back down. Uh, and yeah, this move does look awkward uh, because toroids are difficult. So one of the tips that I have when you're trying to perform this move, predominantly with contact poi, not necessarily with fire poi, but good on you if you can do it, is uh, go through and shorten your poi one loop. Uh, because that, even there, is enough to go through and do all of the maneuvers, or lengthen your poi if you can. So, boom, boom, boom. And then from this side. And those are our toroids and negative spaces. Um, <coughs> if you need anything more, I apologize, it's really early in the morning for me. Uh, if you need anything more, feel free to hit me up over YouTube, comment on my videos, let me know on Facebook. Um, and I believe that's all the information I have right now. Hope everyone has a good rest of your day.